Hey everybody, Jared with Second Life Design here. Uh, I'm gonna do a quick walk around of my old log trailer, um, give an idea of what it was, how it worked, and what worked well for me, and if I would do it again. I'm getting ready, to, I've already replaced it with another one I'm getting ready to start a build on, so this is kind of a follow up after I used it and abused it for a year and how well she worked. So what I started with was a four x eight Harbor Freight tilting utility trailer. Um, everybody's seen these, they're, I think they're 400 bucks if you catch them on sale. Um, they list the capacity as 1,900 pounds, 1,800 pounds, something like that. Um, I can, I'm here to tell you the capacity is a little off. I think it's a lot higher. Um, I've had logs on here that would um, hang off all dimensions um, that were easily at well over 2,000 pounds. I never bought them the springs out. So I think the capacity is a little off. I think they're just making it a little bit lighter so they can maybe sell some more to people with smaller vehicles maybe. I don't know. Um, I never put the fenders on it, never put the lights on it. I was just using it around my house and for short hauling. So I, you know, how well it would work, you know, adding the fenders and everything on, I think they'd probably get tweaked and bent at some point, but so I never put them on, I still have them. Um, so starting at the front, um, it has a small lawnmower battery and the 2,500 pound ATV winch. That is what I went with. Um, it worked pretty well, I, better than I anticipated. Um, what I ended up doing after a while was running the cable to the front of the trailer, you can see it hooked around the frame rail, then running through a snatch block. So when I was hooked up, I would, un I would unhinge the deck so it would tilt back and dr um, run the cable back to the log and drag it up. That was pretty much it. It worked really well. Um, if you know, it wasn't ideal. It was kind of slow, but um, when you consider the kind of the cost of this thing and what I had in it, it was pretty. It worked well enough for me. Um, if somebody was doing small logs in under 20 inches, this would work all day long. It, you could get two or three of those on here and go on about your business, and you'd never know it was even there. The trailer itself towed really well. Towed straight. Never had any problems with that. Um, you know, for being a Harbor Freight item, it was pretty good quality. Uh, I, I went ahead and put solid decking on it. I didn't put plywood or anything like they recommend. I put 2x12s or 10s, whatever, and that seemed to held, hold up and add some rigidity to it as well. Um, if I were to do it again, I would probably mount the winch to one corner, and that way, and then still use my same snatch block, but have the, the winch mounted to one corner, that way it would go down and you could have the cable going here. What would always happen, invariably, this thing's, the deck's only 8 feet long, if I had a 10 foot log, it's pulling it straight towards the center, it would hit the winch. So I couldn't drag it beyond the tongue. If you had the winch on one side, and then the, the, the hook to the other point, it would pull it straight up the middle still, and you could get a little more room out of it. Um, I would probably, if I were to do it again, I would get a heavier winch. I would get maybe the 35 or even the 5000, kind of depending on how much uh, your funding is. Um, the battery, I always had a problem where it would stall out. I don't know if it was the battery not being able to keep up or the winch kind of just protecting itself and overloading, protection stopping. So I don't know which one was which. I wanted to keep this very budget friendly. I think I have, in all of this, I had less than $600, including title paperwork. So I was, it was obviously a pretty budget build. I wasn't going crazy. There was a couple times where I had um, tree guys would set logs down on it for me. Um, they swore up and down they were going to bottom it out, they were going to break it. When I showed up they kind of just laughed at me, uh, put logs on it and just went on my way and it never put up a fight. So a very tough unit, um, can't, can't speak really highly of it, it works really well. So the only other modification I can think of I would do is I would put some kind of an angle iron or something at the, at the, de at the end of the deck here. When the trailer's tilted all the way down, you know, that's four inches or so of material that was far away. So when you the, the logs are coming up to the edge of it, they'd get caught there. So you had to maneuver them around and get them up over that lip. Once it was there, I'd drag it right up and it was fine. But, you know, a piece of angle iron where I could flat going out this way would probably help with that. Or some kind of roller or something. Um, it's not looking the prettiest right now, but she's seen a lot of, a lot of action. Um, that's that's my old log trailer, uh, the Harbor Freight trailer. That I don't, I'm sure other people have worried, wondered about it, what it would do, what it wouldn't, as far as hauling logs. And it is it's a viable option if you're realistic about what it'll do. 
Um, the 2,500 pound winch probably isn't enough. I think they maybe rate that a little low, uh, a little high actually. Uh, for an ATV winch, it works, but I don't just for the dead static weight of a log. I don't think it'll work that well, especially dragging them uphill uh, with the tilted deck. But as far as unloading, it was really easy. Um, I would just pull the pins and tip it back, and generally you just drive out from under it, and the log is right where you set it. So um, if we're kind of a low buck option, if you didn't want to have a lot of money invested and just want to be able to move some logs, not all of them, I, I would really do it. Um, I would do it again uh, if I were still doing kind of the small log thing, for sure. It works a lot better than what people would anticipate it to. So. That's all I have for today, guys. Um, follow up on this. If you have any questions, let me know. Any comments, leave them in the, the comment section. Follow me on Instagram at Second Life Design, and I'll try and accommodate as best as possible. Thanks.